today is going to be a fun one. My assignment for Food and Drink magazine is to do some culinary exploring with Chef Nick Liu, master of new Asian cuisine and co-owner and executive chef at two Toronto restaurants, Dilo and Little Dilo. Well, this is awesome. It's going to be a really fun little trip. A road trip, yeah. Nick and I are headed about two hours southwest of downtown Toronto to Norfolk County. For years, it was known for tobacco farming, but now there's an amazing range of crops growing there. We'll be making five stops to discover and pick up food and drink ingredients, and at the end of the day, we'll be making an incredible meal together inspired by our day in the region. Have you ever been to Norfolk County before? I have never been to Norfolk. I'm pretty excited. I hear it's like Ontario's garden. I googled it because I don't know a lot about Norfolk at all. It's all about like Ontario's bounty. I think it's going to be like a hidden gem. I think it's going to be a hidden gem as well. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, what's, what's growing out there. I really can't wait to get to the markets. This place looks so cool. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. When corn's in season, there's nothing better in the world. <laughs> Raw, I like it. It's so <laughs> good. Is it good? You really don't even have to cook it. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my God, look oh, at these look guys. At this. Mouse melons. What do they taste like? Wow, that sounds Ooh, crunchy. Crunchy. Tiny bit sour. Mm. They were so good in a salad. We're definitely gonna grab some of these. Okay, I think that's a great idea. So my mom always told me that to find a good melon, yep. you give it a little bit of a tap. The more hollow it sounds, the sweeter it is. Ooh. Welcome. Hey. Man, you've got some really beautiful stuff here. Thank you so much. How do I get the stuff in Toronto? So every Tuesday, we do Trinity Bellwood Market from 3 to 7. And before we hit there, we go and do restaurant deliveries locally in that area. Amazing. That great is so know. great to know. Jensen Cheese is all about their cheddar. Their secret is their Danish family recipe that they've used for over a hundred years. What do you like? I like white cheddar, oh, extra old cheddar. Let's yeah. get one of these for sure. Cheese curds. Cheese curds, definitely for the car. Yeah, road snack. Yeah. yeah. So I had this idea of doing like a, a salad with like some tomatoes and those like little cucumbers we got yeah, and some watermelon. What cheese would you suggest for that guy? I would say the extra old would be an interesting pairing with that. Yeah. I think that'd be great. So I've never been to New Limburg Brewery. The only thing I really know about this brewery is that it has a really strong European influence and they have a female brewmaster, which I think is pretty freaking oh, cool. Oh, that is so cool. Are we here? Yeah. This is a school. They're bringing beer in a school? This is so cool. Norfolk County has a huge Belgian community, so it's not surprising to see a brewery here. Belgium is famous for its wide variety of beers, but especially its ales, and that's what New Limburg specializes in. Here's the plate. You see the numbers. 7528, same numbers as on the board. You should drink from the hand grip to the other side. Excellent, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have one of these because I'm driving. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> this is beautiful. Really nice. 
it, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I really like I really like that in a beer. Nice, light, and refreshing. Nice. It's really bright and like citrusy. I, I really like that. This is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. We never planned to start a brewery. So my son and I were brewing the beers what we couldn't get here mm -hmm. because we came from Belgium. When we were brewing every weekend and we didn't have beer because all our friends were taking the beer away <laughs> and that's how it went. And you have um, a brewmaster too, right? Yep. So we have uh, on the moment uh, Holly, our brewmaster, is taking care of all the beers and she's doing a perfect job. How do you find working in like a pretty male-dominated like workforce? It's been good. Like a yeah. lot of the guys have very supportive and they like having, you know, more women coming into the industry. This is your favorite part? Yeah, it's a pretty slick system, so it makes it easy on us to do lots of bottles. You got some fresh fish. That's right, there's pickerel right there and perch underneath. So in your opinion, like, what is the difference between pickerel and perch? Why should someone purchase a perch over a pickerel? When you buy a pickerel, it's a lot meatier. There's just a little bit more to it. You can kind of cook it different if you want to, like oven roast it or barbecue it. Perch is a little drier than that, so you pretty well are stuck with either deep frying or pan frying. Yeah. But there's people there that this is the only thing they'll eat because it's nice and mild. And if I guess it's kind of like if you don't like fish, <laughs> you yeah. get the perch. You eat perch. <laughs> A quick pickup of some perch and pickerel, and we're off to our last stop, Burning Kiln Winery, where we'll make our summer meal. Yes, and there it is right there. Oh, perfect. Burning Kiln. Believe it or not, these fields used to be covered in tobacco plants. Times have changed. Now, the fields are bursting with grape vines. Burning Kiln pioneered the idea of drying the grapes it produces in the old kilns that used to dry tobacco. Drying grapes is an old Italian tradition, but doing it in Norfolk was a first. It's made Norfolk wines unique in all of Ontario. Here we are, we're all cooking. We've brought in all these amazing ingredients from all the places we've been today. I got these beautiful red potatoes that I got from uh, Matt's. Yeah. Uh, I believe you know the family quite well, eh? I do. Uh, as a child, I used to go and pick raspberries straight from the bush. My name is Ryan Rivard. I'm the uh, chef and owner at Canned Heat here at Burning Kiln in St. Williams, Ontario. It's a hive of activity. We're making pizza. I'm going to do a beautiful dessert. I'm gonna put some of these green onions on there, just for a little bit of color. And then I've got some of this uh, parm cream. I made this beautiful pizza. Chef Brian took some of the fish for me, you know, to do some tacos. Tonight's dish is a Lake Erie pickerel taco. We've got a red pepper emulsion, along with a pickled salsa. Uh, and we've got a fried lemon and some uh, thinly sliced green onions on top. Nick is creating some crazy beautiful salads with the produce that we got. And we're gonna pair all the food that we're eating tonight with the beer that we got from New Limburg and the wine from Burning Kiln Winery. It does look delicious. <laughs> I don't know about anybody here, but I'd love to cheers to, to Norfolk County. Yeah and to the bounty that we have. What an incredible day today. 
Norfolk County has got some amazing produce, beautiful wines, incredible fish, some great cheeseries, and you know, some wonderful people. What an incredible day. I can't wait till I come visit again. On the next episode of Five Stops, Chef Dustin Gallagher and I check out what's delicious in the Blue Mountains.